Hey, what is going on guys? So today we have here the brand new, sort of, Perfect Grade, Perfect Strike Gundam. Now it's not entirely new considering that the Strike Gundam has obviously been a PG for many years now, but this version now has updated, added details around on the armor, so it's got some new armor parts for it. We'll see how extensive that is once we get a look at this opened up and we get a look at all the renders and everything. But then of course also we have the addition of all the Perfect Strike parts. So you have the Launcher Pack, the Ale Pack, Striker Pack, all of that all on there. And so a couple things too that just that I want to mention straight off the bat before we get into the unboxing is that number one, I will be doing a live build of this. Now the live build is not entirely decided exactly what the format of that is going to be. But it's going to be one long build or multiple builds. I'm not exactly totally decided on that quite yet. It's going to take me a little while just to get everything all prepped for the build anyway. So just make sure that you're following me on other social media aside from here on YouTube, also my Facebook page, as well as Instagram, Twitch, Twitter. So you don't miss any updates for when the live stream and ultimately the review is going to be for this kit, of course. And then the other thing, we also have to thank, as always, USA Gundam Store for their support. So guys, do check out the link to USA Gundam Store there down below, where you can use my coupon code there, Zacharelius10, to save 10% off everything there on the site. And especially if you wanted to get something big and expensive like this, 10% may not be a whole lot, but it'll definitely knock off a sizable chunk if it's something large as a perfect grade such as this. So with this being a perfect grade and with it being a pretty big box with a lot of stuff in there, it is going to be a pretty expensive kit. As you can see for the box art here on the front, it looks very cool. You have the Perfect Strike Gundam, Perfect Grade logo down there at the bottom, and just the big image there of the Perfect Strike Gundam all loaded up with everything, and then a close-up over here on this side. And there's a lot to see around on the outside of the box here. So on the top, we have the handle there for carrying this with ease. We have another look at the uh, Ale Strike Gundam here, so without the sword and the launcher packs on there, with just the Ale Strike backpack, and then just the logo once again there. Over here on this side, a look at the Sword Strike Gundam there. So you got the title and then just the illustration there of the Sword Strike Gundam. And then as you might expect, then on the other side here, a look at the Launcher Strike Gundam. So that is just here as well. All right, then let's go here onto the back. And as you can see, there's a lot to look at here. We have just the Strike Gundam by itself. And then over here, actually loaded up with everything. You got a breakdown of all the different stuff that's included with this. You got the Ale Striker, the Combo Weapons Pod, the Midas Messer, the Agni, the Shield, the Battery Packs, the Beam Rifle, the Panzer Eisen, the Schwarzgwartz, and the Armor Slenders, and, and all of that stuff. So let's just take a look here at some of the closer details we've got. So for the head unit, it says the armor on the head adopts a new design, and the LED allows the main camera to light up, so it'll still have the LED gimmick there in the head, but a very different new design here for the head design. Uh, the frame says the articulation of the maintenance hatches on the shoulders and various areas allow the inner frame to unfold So that's not really going to be different from the original kit. The original kit also did the same thing. Down here, silver plated, it says various sections of the armor adopt parts applied with silver plating and the additional detail give the armor a dense design and realisticness. So yeah, there you go. So you got some new parts here with some silver plating on them, so that's pretty cool. Added there on the chest, so those will be nice. And it looks like around here, like in the shoulders, the sides of the legs, the front skirts, the forearms and everything as well. So that'll, those will be really cool. And then for the figure, we have a figure of Mula Flaga is included with this as well. So that's kind of interesting that uh, it's not Kira Yamato, but I guess the Perfect Strike is piloted by Mu Lathaga, okay, anyway. And then down here, just a breakdown of the different forms, the Ale Strike Gundam, the Sword Strike Gundam, and the Launcher Strike Gundam there, so it breaks it down like that if you wanted to build it up as one particular design. Now, really what I think would would be the best bet would be to have you know multiple PGs, you know, the, the, for me personally, like the full setup of everything on there at once is just a bit much for me. I think it's just kind of too much on there. Uh, for me personally, I much prefer it broken down into the separate forms, but that means you'd have to have three perfect grade strikes. Now all of these parts will fit on just the original perfect grade strikes, so if you just want just the parts set, I believe that was just a P Bandai set, right? To just get the weapons and stuff by themselves. So unfortunately it seems like for the time being you can't get this new updated version of the actual Strike Gundam itself just like this as a kit on its own for the time being, but hopefully in the future they'll release this, just the main Gundam body as a separate kit by itself. And then, you know, if you like bought this set and then you know, later you wanted to buy maybe one or two more of just the body, then you could separate the different arm, the, the different weapons parts onto different bodies there and create the just the AL strike, the sword strike, the launcher strike separately if you want to do that. So that would be my hope, but I don't know if Ben is going to ultimately end up doing that or not. Let's go ahead and get this popped open and see what we got in here. Oh, we have, oh, this is just kind of the same image on the outside, not a different image there. And what we've got in here is just a big mass of parts and this box doesn't want to come out. There we go, it was stuck. 
There's a whole bunch of parts in there. You got some stickers it looks like and everything as well. So let me just get through all this. We'll find the manual to look at first. So as you might expect here, the manual is pretty substantial. Really nice close-up image there of the strike. This doesn't look like an actual product shot. It looks like a CG render there on the front. And that's just kind of continued on to the back here. But yeah, this is pretty substantial. It's like a small magazine here going to, let's see, uh, basically 47 pages in here. So let's just start at the beginning. And here at the front, we just have images, basically just image from the front of the box art there. Some text over here in Japanese. And then we have it down here in English as well. So this basically just looks like some background information on the Perfect Strike Gundam. But you guys can check that out, read that if you like. On the next page, here we have a photo of the actual kit itself when it's all built up and with some still frames from the anime there in the background. Or here's some information about the different stuff here included. So here we have some information about the Mu La Flaga and the anti-ship blade Schwerzgwert and the Beam Boomerang Midas Messer and then the Rocket Anchor Panzer Aishin. All that stuff and over here about the multiple assault striker backpack here so you got that information there in japanese and english down there at the bottom and then over here the 320 millimeter hyper impulse cannon agni and also the combo weapon pod there so you guys can check out all that information if you're interested this isn't exactly a new gundam by any means so i'm sure a lot of this information again is on the gundam wiki page already so just getting to the parts list here you can see there are going to be some x's on some of these runners probably runners from the original uh strike PG kits that you're not going to be using some of these parts on there so you'll have a handful of those leftover parts there it looks like uh, and then we we'll get through the rest of the parts list and then it's on into the construction so here's a layout of what you're gonna be building first just the strike Gundam with its basic so basically this is just like the original perfect grade here's what you're building first and then after you're through all that so that obviously take a while we've got a few pages here to say the least of the construction of that of the main Gundam and then we're building up the base for that, which looks like it includes the base, which is nice, okay. And then we're building the multiple assault striker packs, so just all the different weapons parts and everything. You build as a whole separate thing once you get the main body and everything done. So just go through all the stages of that, and then like how to equip and mount all the weapons and everything. And finally, here at the back, a little bit more here about the details and gimmicks. So once again, just kind of going through, showing some of the details and gimmicks here of this kit. So there's a lot to see here. And then again, some more information about the different forms. The Strike Gundam, the Ale Strike Gundam, the Sword Strike Gundam, the Launcher Strike Gundam, and the Sky Grasper in there as well. So we'll have all of that information. And then finally, we get to our color guide here that's all in Japanese and English. And then the marking guide where all the different marking stickers are going to go on this. Unfortunately, I don't think this includes any water slides or anything. I think it's just all marking stickers, unfortunately. So let's get to all the runners and find out. Alright, so first up is this sticker sheet, and as you can see, there's a good amount on here, but it's not really as extensive as you might have expected for something that has a ton of parts like this has. So, but you got some big logos on there, and then a bunch of smaller caution markings on there as well. Really nice in terms of the design of these, but it's just a shame that these weren't water slide decals. We've also got our three die-cast metal parts, so these are just in die-cast metal with black paint on them. I believe this one goes in for the hips, and these ones go in the knees, if I remember correctly. And then, as well, our LED components for in the head, so you'll build these into the different parts in there for the head for the LED unit. Then we've got this uh, black wire here, which is going to be for that uh, part that launches out from the Sword Striker pack. And then our 160 scale clear pink beam saber effect parts here as well. We've got our main part here for the base, which is actually labeled WF from the PG-160 scale ale striker from 2005. So this is just uh, that same base that was used for that. And then this runner here, also in black, runner BA-7D, the main kind of arm for the base that will hold the Gundam up on there. Alright, so runner A then here from the original Strike Gundam PG kit from 2004. We've got three, four different colors on here actually. A couple of clear blue parts are at the, at the top, some plain clear over here on the side, some yellow here down at the bottom, which is in a slightly kind of pale yellow, it's pretty nice. And then a blue color here for the rest of the parts, which is in a very bright kind of royal blue color. Runner B, some white armor parts and also our original pilot figure there. Uh, from the original strike kit. So just for the time being, these are all just parts from the original PG strike. Nothing new quite yet for the first round of runners here. Runner C then as well, with some more white armor pieces, and we've got two of this C runner. And a little bit smaller in size, but the same thing here for runner D as well. Once again, two of these also. And runner E here, a few more parts in white, and then obviously the main part for the shield. Runner F here in red, got parts for the feet, some more parts for around the center of the body, the head, and the shield. 
We're gonna G here pretty much all the parts for making the beam rifle, and it's in this really interesting color. It's in this like dark gunmetal color, but it's also got a little bit of like sparkle injection going on with this. So hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. There you can see that uh, those silver sparkles there amongst this dark gunmetal color. Runner H then getting into parts for the inner frame, still all from the original kit so far, and this runner as well as mo most of the inner frame is also in that same kind of dark gunmetal with the silver sparkles with it. And the same thing here for runner I, you can see some of the larger parts of the inner frame there. And then the same thing here for runner J as well, but runner J has something a little bit interesting here. If you take a look at a comparison here with runner I, you can see runner I has the old style where the letter is not cut out, it's just printed on there and it says PG 160 scale strike Gundam. But here with runner J, the letter is cut out, which is the new style, and this is also PG 160 scale GAT X100. MVF. I guess that's just the frame. So while this runner I'm sure is not new, I'm sure this is the same runner as with the original kit because this runner is also, they're both from 2004, 2004, 2004, but for some reason they changed the tag for this runner which is interesting. For the K runner here as well, it's the same thing. This is an old runner from the original kit but it has the newer style markings on here for the runner tag. And then we've got two of this K runner in ABS, I should mention. Same thing as well here for runner L also. And once again, we've got two of these as well. And runner M as well. Still all parts from the original kit, but we do have just the new cutout letters at the top and the PG-160 scale GAT markings for these. We've got two of this M runner as well. And one more here for runner N also, but runner N is back to the original style of marking here on the side there for that, just 2004 strike gun parts, two of those. And then runner O here in chrome plated ABS parts, this is just parts for the pistons and some of those nice little shiny bits, this is all still just the same as the original kit. And then for the last of our runners from the original kit here, runner P, which includes the handle for the Grand Slam sword, but unfortunately the sword is not included with this, so that's a bit of a shame. So we're basically just going to use the couple parts there at the top, which I believe go in the feet, but that is it here for the parts from the original kit. Now we're getting into all the brand new parts for this specific version of the kit. So these runners are going to be little P, blah blah blah, PA, PB, PC, PD, and so on is how the runners are going to be labeled for these. So first one here is PA, this is in four colors, a couple more clear blue parts on the side, some clear pink effect parts up there at the top for the new weapons, effects parts, some green parts, dark green parts down here for some of the new weapons, and then some white parts there as well. PB here, very large runner with obviously some parts in dark green for the launcher pack. And then just based on the order of these, runner PC here I'm guessing is also parts for the launcher pack, but this time it's just in a dark brownish gray gunmetal color without the sparkly bits I'll add. And runner PD as well, so I'm guessing uh, P, B, C, and D are all parts, they're all specifically for the launcher pack. And then runner PE, obviously as you can see here, is getting into parts for the sword striker pack. So you can see obviously the big parts there for the sword and parts for the shoulders and stuff here in this nice uh, light blue color. PF, some of the dark metallic parts there for the sword striker pack. So you got just a bunch of really nice details there on that. And then PG is a smaller little runner here, which I'm guessing is just the last of the parts for the sword striker pack. Then runner PH1 here is getting into some of the other parts, which I guess is just like the general parts that are new for just the whole Perfect Strike Gundam in general. As well as you can see, we got some new fixed pose hands up there. Fixed pose holding hands, I guess, just for holding on to the very heavy weapons. They're going to be added onto this runner here. Runner PH1, and then PH2 is a copy of this section of the runner here. Runner PI1 is not chrome plated, but silver plated, so a little bit different look on this. Uh, but they look really nice, these silver plated detail parts look really good. So we got two of this PI1 runner. PI2 is just going to be these parts here in white. I'm guessing these look like parts, I think, for the battery packs maybe. We got two of this PI2 runner. Then PJ1 here is back to dark green parts for the launcher pack. PJ2 here in black seems to be parts for the ale pack. And PK is another four color runner here in yellow, blue, red, and dark green. So all parts for the different backpacks and stuff on here. PL here in white is some of the new updated armor parts that have more detail built into them for the main Strike Gundam body. We got two of this PL runner. And that has continued on to runner PM here as well. Some of the new armor parts, parts for the new head, and then the new pilot figure there of Mula Flaga. So that is it for all the runners I think that are completely brand new to this kit. Then we have runner R here, which is seems to be exactly the same as from the original kit, just a clear uh, like multi-injected part there for the eyes, the injected parts here for the knives, and then the hands of course. This runner seems the same as from the original kit, but the, interestingly the runner label on the back says 2019, so I don't think anything was necessarily changed about this, just for some reason they changed the 
uh, tag again for this runner, but anyway, it's still the same hands and knives and eyes option part there. Then we're getting into our polycaps here for the kit. We have one S runner here, it's a bunch of polycaps in a dark brownish uh, metallic color. And then we've also got runner T as well for more polycaps. We've actually got two of this T runner, so plenty of polycaps for this kit. All right, the runner U1 here is not parts that were included with the original PG Strike Gundam, but these were parts that were made in the 160 scale version of the Sky Sky Grasper and uh, Ale Strike Pack that were available with either the Strike Rouge or that separate set like that. So these weren't with the original PG kit, but they're not new to this kit either. They were from a different kit in between, actually, that came out in 2005. Same thing here for Runner V1, some red parts for the backpack from 2005. Runner WA1 as well, another four color runner in blue, like black, yellow, and clear parts there for the backpack. Runner W2 here, a big runner of parts in black. And then also WE2 for a few more polycaps here. And then the last two runners are also from the Ale Strike pack of 2005. We have runner X here, all in the same kind of uh, sparkly gunmetal color like we saw for the inner frame. And the same thing here for runner Y1 as well. Some more sparkly dark gunmetal color for some more parts for that. So that is it for all of the runners. So as I've got it separated here, this is basically all the parts for the main Gundam the body, and this is all the parts for all the weapons and backpack stuff, and it's, it's about 50-50. There's probably more actual parts in here because there's a lot more smaller parts and things like that for the frame and everything for the main Gundam. But there's a lot of kit to build with this, so you can see where that high price tag is coming into play, but I think it's going to be an awesome build. It's going to be a fun experience, and it's going to take quite a while, so like I said, make sure you stay tuned to here on YouTube and other social media platforms to see the update on when I'm going to be working on the live build for this. I'm going to get to work on getting the parts ready, and then I'll let you guys know as soon as that is ready to go. So, excited for this new, sort of new, PG kit. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you have any other further questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave those down below. And again, thank you to you. USA Gundam store as well. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.